Greetings, Ava here, and today we are going to be talking with Diana of the Pleiadian family and asking a question around what do you do when you just feel pretty hopeless and depressed? How do you even begin to tap into love when you really just don't trust that life's going to be okay right now, when you're really feeling depressed and hopeless and sad and lonely and fearful and insert your word, right? So how do we really tap into this? So we're that's the question. We're going to go right into it and see what Diana has to say. <clears throat> ah, okay, greetings. Ah, oh, we feel the heart of so many of you. You know, maybe one person is asking the question. The reason we answer it for all is because it is relevant to all, you see. This is relevant to all of you right now because we all feel into these these layers where we just do not trust and we are fearful and we aren't sure what is going to happen and we are feeling sad some days or alone or depressed or hopeless and we really just don't know what to do and we don't remember the essence of what we are, who we are, what we came for and why it even matters. Why does it even matter, you see? So that is what we're really here to really hold the, the deepest places where you're feeling all, little, all of the aloneness, you see. How do we really begin to rise? Well, it has to be in your body. It has to be starting in the body, in the places where you can really begin to feel exactly where you are. And not having it to be anything different than that, you see. Because it is a part of creation. So can you feel the awe in your sadness, in the loneliness? Can you come to a place where you can just take a tiny little bit of a step back? Just a little, little fraction of a step. Where you can just see, oh. Yes, look at this, this, this person. Look at how much I am suffering right now. Look at this. You see, just stepping just the tiniest little bit back so that you can see it from a, a different perspective, you see. Not to change it at all, but just to acknowledge it. Say, wow, that really hurts. This is a lot of pain. This is a lot of pain, you see. And then we say, wow, this is actually part of creation. This experience is a face of creation. Wow. Wow. This is a part of creation. Can you believe it? You see. And there are many more experiences just like it, you know, that feel equally as painful, you see. The, the thing is, a lot of times we try to get out of it or away from it or think that we have to be happy all the time. We have to, to only be in the love, only be in the light, only be in the joy, you see. And while it is, it is, a, more, mm, it is a more uplifting and, and pleasant experience, and over time, it is a choice that we choose more frequently, but it is not because we are bypassing all of the other places, you see. So the key is to let yourself really acknowledge that this is a part of you. The grief, the sadness, the anger, the loneliness, the depression, the isolation, the fear. All of these frequencies are important and they're a part of you. So instead of pushing them away and saying, how do I get to the love? How do I get to the joy? How do I get to the bliss? How can I just be okay right here? And it's really about just saying, oh, wow. Yes, this is a part of, of, of creation. It is a part of my consciousness. And it is a one consciousness, a one great heart, a one great heartbeat. And wow, I, I understand it. I feel it and I, I acknowledge it. And I know what it is about. You see, this is a lot of times why we do it is because we really deeply need to understand it and know what it is about. 
Because why? Because it brings more compassion. It brings a perspective that allows us to hold the bigger heart for others who are also experiencing something similar, you see. So in that you are not alone, you see. And then you become a reference point for someone else. You can say, yes, I know exactly what you mean. Exactly what you mean. Because I have experienced that too, you see. And for some of us, this is the way. This is the way to go into the darkness, to experience all of it, you see. For others, it is not our way. You know, it's because we've maybe done it another time. Or it is just simply not our mission in this time, you see. So we all have a different role to play. So the other way is to get very clear and ask. You can just ask and pray. This is the best way is to pray and to begin to get into circuitry. Get into circuitry with life. A lot of times when we are feeling so isolated, separate, alone, depressed, it is because we have forgotten about the frequency and the circuitry of the heart. We have become disconnected. Our hearts are disconnected from Mother Earth, from each other, from love, all, all of it. It is not in circuitry. So how do we get that circuitry going again? How do we, we create that wheel, you see, of life? Is become, we, we begin to feel into that pulse, you see, through the way. We, we begin to actually love where we are. We love where we are. Not always so easy when it is feeling in the pain. But when we choose to love where we are, it changes the experience, you see. Because it changes, it turns it into awe. It turns it into wonder. And so sometimes we get really clear in why did we come? What is our purpose? And why am I choosing these frequencies? What is really the purpose for these frequency choices, you see? For hanging out in them, because do I need to understand it so I can help the others? Do I need to understand it for my own personal journey, you see? really getting clearer. What do, why is there the choosing, you see? Or is it simply because we just got a little bit too lost and we just we just don't have the map or the light to, co to come back, you see? And if that is the case, thank the gods. Thank all the gods. Thank all of the life because then it is very easy. You simply just go outside and you put your heart, you go onto your chest, right onto the ground, no matter what time of year, no matter how dirty you get, and you simply... Listen to the heartbeat of the mother. And you let her take all your pain. You just let her take it. She's there for that, you see. And you ask for help. You ask for the help. Sometimes we do not think about these very simple solutions of actually just asking for the help. Because what does it do in the asking? When you begin to ask, what happens is you are creating the first part of the circuitry. You are in communication with consciousness. So you're doing your part to cre recreate that circuitry that has been broken and lost, you see. So simply pray, meditate, ask for help from your guides, from your God, from the earth, from any higher power that you need to, just even if you do not believe in it. Just see what happens when you say, well, clearly, I do not have it all figured out because I'm experiencing this and I do not know how to, how to get out, out of it right now. So just opening yourself up to, if it is not this way, what is the way? And just posing the question. Maybe it is not even to a specific entity or a being or consciousness. It is just posed as a question, you see. How? What is the way? How do I change this frequency? How do I move with this into a more... A balanced circuitry with the life, you see. Because again, it is about honoring this frequency, but also not getting stuck in it so that you're only in one pattern of, of life's experiences, you see. Because life has so many richnesses of experience, it would be a shame to get stuck in only one of them, you see. Even in the, the love, even in just the pure, pure bliss consciousness, you see, this is why we, we, we have the du du duality and why so many choose the duality to begin with. It's because they want to have a different experience that is not just in the oneness. You see, the duality creates the growth, it creates the play, it creates the fun, it creates all, you see. So we play, it's like a breath, a breath in and a breath out. 
everything into the nothing. And it's a cycle, you see. And we cycle through. We cycle through the oneness. We cycle through the, the, the duality. It is like as simple as breathing, you see. So keeping in mind that we are always cycling and it's circuitry. And how do we just get back into that breath? Back into that remembrance, you see. And it just creates a little, a little bit of asking for the help, you see. Ask for the help. Do the little bit of the prayer. Get on the mother. And in your earnest search in your heart, you will begin to feel the heart. And do not run away from the pain. Feel all the pain. There is nothing wrong with the pain. It is there as part of the experience. So learn from it. Grow from it. Feel it all. And get the lesson. Get why you are in it. And, and then you can, co can go on to the next thing. You see, move on. Not by passing, but moving on, you see. So it is kind of like that. It's just a little bit of a play, you see. But so many of you are in this feeling that we really feel it, the need to really just slow that all down and really just give a few really helpful, simple tips for how to move through. Because so many people right now are in these places where they're feeling so disconnected from the heart and from the love and from each other. So how do we begin that process of reconnecting to the circuitry of the heart? This is a little bit of the way, you see. This is not the only ways, you see. There are many, many infinite ways, you see. So this is just a few little tips today. We probably talk about this many more times, you see, in different ways and different perspectives, because it is never one pers perspective, you see. This is also what the Pleiadians want to bring to you, is, 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 is lots of different perspectives, you see, of, of what is and is not, you see, because it is, again, about the breath of creation and life. And there is never a fixed way. Never is anything fixed, you see. So being willing to be in the flexibility of the life as, as you are with your own breath. This is the way, you see. In and out. We love you all so very much. This is the Pleiadian family bringing all the love to your heart, from our hearts. We send you all blessings. You are doing such good work. We are so very proud, all of you, for, for choosing a role in a body because this is not the easy way you see diana has the easy job you see we get to come in we get to talk through the other and then we get to go you see Ava has a difficult job you see to be the channel you all have the difficult jobs to be in the bodies you see it is a very challenging time to be in a body so give yourself compassion give yourself gentleness kindness and really breathe and let yourself really have a break it's okay to take a little bit of a break. All of you are are really on the missions. You are really on the missions to, to, to get the job done, to, to help in the elevation of consciousness. And you're all doing such good work at such a rapid pace that we could not even predict how fast you would go. We are quite astonished up here. You have to know that, you see. That is why we say you do such good work. It is okay to breathe. It is okay to take a little bit of a rest, you see. And it is okay, you see. You are doing good work, but make sure you are taking the care. Taking the care of your heart. Taking the care of each other. Taking the time to be with the earth, you see. And to be with her creation, you see. This is really the deeper, the deeper essence of life, you see, is to simply be in it, with it, of it. Blessings, blessings to you all. May this message bring you such joy and peace in your hearts. We love you all very much. <clears throat> ah, blessings, everyone. I trust that this message was exactly what you needed to hear at this time today. If you like this, please share, please subscribe, please turn on your notifications. And we are excited to continue sharing and to continue bringing messages from the Pleiadians. So we look forward to being with you next time. Blessings. <laughs>